Hey, what's up everybody? Before I get into this video, this was off of the 2020-2021 trapping season. It's the second season of vlogs. This is a catch video, so there should be a lot of really good, exciting uh, action in this one. Coyotes, bobcats, even might put a raccoon or two in there on some good locations. So before you watch this video, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and then on the little bells, turn the notifications on because this trapping season, I'll be kicking out more vlogging episodes with these types of catches in it as well. So hey, I hope you guys like this video and make sure you hit subscribe and turn the notifications on and enjoy it. That's a nice coyote right there. Can't beat that one. Heard it. Talk to me. What you got going on here, buddy? You sure are nice. Yeah, caught him in a little dirt hole. Caught a, a raccoon there the day before. And, uh, or two days before. And it's just waiting on something to come through here. And I got two traps on the top side there. And a uh, nice little funneling spot. Nice coyote. And I'll uh, get that dispatched and we'll move on down the line. It's like a good front foot catch there. Pretty nice kitty. There was a pack of coyotes come through here the day that I set these traps. And I have a cable over here too. I'm gonna check that cable real quick. And while I was setting the traps, there was a bunch of uh, coyotes howling. And I got a cable right here, right in front. They were crossing right here. And I've been looking for a bobcat for quite a while. It's usually one of my better spots to catch them bobcats. But I really set this for a coyote. They're coming off the top of this ridge here. And just kind of traveling along the edge. This is probably the second day on this trap. And uh, real nice. Nice cat. So... All right, let's get that dispatch. Move on down the line. Nice cat, can't beat that at all. All right, folks, caught this nice, beautiful coyote on a cable coming down off the pond down. And uh, there it is, got it on the back, so. There we go. Nice little trail there. You're just gonna chill out, aren't you, buddy? All right, I'll get that going. Go for it. cedar little cedar tree right there a little post real nice guy are you gonna bark at me buddy <laughs> yeah 
I gotta admit, I was a little bit discouraged when I come through here yesterday. I didn't catch one. There's another down here. And, uh, real nice guy. It's probably a male. And, uh, just checking you out there, buddy. So, alright, let's get him dispatched. Move on down the line. Well, made it on location, and uh, I like this fence line, big timber over this way, and a bunch of draws and stuff, which got traps over there. Real good beaten down trap path right here, and connected on a coon. Uh, looking for a bobcat and catching a lot of coons, so can't complain. Nice big catch circle, look at that thing. Looks like the aliens landed there. All right, I'm gonna get him dispatched and move on down the line. Well, in my nice coyote set is a uh, big old fluffy raccoon. Not bad. Just a little, little wash out here. And uh, all right, I'm gonna get that uh, dispatched, move on down the line. This is my favorite spot to trap. Big timber, ditch, bluff comes down, awesome pinch point. Looks like we got something down here. I've got a couple cables on a trail. The day that I set this, unbelievable. The coyotes are coming through here hard. And I haven't seen much activity since, it's been weird. Looks like we got a coon. Back foot catch. What's up, buddy? I'm looking for a bobcat. Everything kind of travels right through here. But um, I'll take a coon too. That's all right. A couple cables off of the trails right in here. So you see this ditch that kind of comes down through here. And everything kind of comes right around this little bend right here. A really good spot. And I uh, probably should trap this throughout the most of the season. I only come in and trap for a couple, you know, like a week or two weeks. But um, a real good spot. I caught Bobcat here before. And it's just an awesome pinch point. Big ridge over here on this side. And it just all kind of barrels down here. So, all right. I'm going to get this... Uh, Really nice raccoon here, not too bad. Gonna get it dispatched and move on down the line. Looky, looky. Well, caught a bobcat right here on this, uh, fence line and it's a little bitty one beautiful beautiful coloring on it though real nice set this just yesterday a little trail comes or a couple days ago sorry got a back foot catch on it and uh just sitting there nice and not a very nice cat i might just let it go pretty small probably first year cat but uh, back foot catch, real beautiful coloring. Next year, this will be a really nice cat. So, all right, let's get that turned loose here. just yesterday on a post set. Probably a female. Nice little coyote, not too bad. Kind of a pup almost. Pretty good location on the fence line. And this was, like I said, this was the last 
trap I set and there's just a little trail coming off here not a bad looking coyote can't beat that uh, there's one and a half to hold I'm pretty confident in him looks like there's only two or three toes in there so I better get this dispatched and move on down the line all right folks i thought i'd share with you the reset on this there's a catch circle here all i did was i grabbed a little cedar bush over there and i poked that in the ground that cedar bush isn't two feet tall in the air and um all i did was i took a rebar stake after i chopped it out with my hatchet and then i, I poked it down the ground a good three four inches from the root of that and then i just kind of boxed in the sides a little bit traps right here and you can see it's nice and well blended um and this is a secret set all i did i didn't put any glandler or nothing this is the coyotes mating season right now i'm right in the middle of a rut so i just put some fox here and all all through here i was pretty liberal with the amount and that's all i put on that it's a post set it's what we call a post set uh that was a male coyote I just caught of course and uh so the males come over and sniff it of course they want to mark it and catch them right there real simple set and you guys could do it too put the fur in the back of your truck hope you like it get it get it out there try it it works all right let's keep moving down the line well i uh set off of this road got a really good cable coming off over here and then uh got a got a nice coyote over here i'm gonna show you guys i set two on this Well, what do you think, guys? Nice catch there. Just coming in off of that, uh, off that trail. You gotta love those cables, right? So, pretty aggressive coyote. Can't beat that. And get him dispatched, and we'll move on down the road. Well, it's a nice big male. Pretty aggressive. Don't usually get them that aggressive. But uh, I think what I'll do is, I, since I don't have any more cables, usually I cable put my cable down a little farther. But I do have another cable over there. But I think I'll, since I, all I don't have any cables, I'm just going to set a trap. And uh, it's pretty good and worked over, I think, probably. Maybe in the next day or two, maybe gives me an opportunity to make a catch on this hill uh but um yeah usually i just set another cable on the the back end of that and uh where we go but i had that cable set about two or three days and a no, nice coyote so worked pretty good and uh putting fur in the back of the truck so you can't beat that hey folks Hope you guys like that episode, doing some stuff, some winter coyote trapping, bobcat trapping, you name it, we're doing it. Hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe, otherwise click the thumbs up. I'm Jinx, and have a great day.